So the social media market has really evolved from a market where, where consumers were interacting with each other to one where businesses want to now interact with consumers who are their customers. And what's, what's changed an awful lot in the last several years has been the level of sophistication of the tools that allow businesses to reach out to their customers and, and more than just reach out, but to actually engage them, engage them in an ongoing conversation. So when we started to look at social media marketing and social media analytics, the first thing we wanted to understand was, well, what are the vendors out there doing that help companies to engage? And we found a lot of really interesting information. The first thing to keep in mind is that social media analytics and social media marketing are, are just two halves of the same coin. You need analytics in order to inform your marketing, and you need marketing to reach out, and then you need analytics again in order to understand how effective your marketing is. So when we started to look at social media analytics and marketing, we looked at them together because we knew that that was really the way the whole process worked. How do I engage a customer? First, I understand them, then I reach out to them, then I measure their response, and then I reach out again. And it creates a virtuous cycle by which companies can continuously engage with customers, sending them new messages, providing them compelling content, and then allowing the customers themselves to interact with each other because, let's face it, customers are the most trusted source for other customers. So when we started looking at this space, we noticed a couple of really interesting uh, points. The first was that the buyer of these products is actually a marketing person, not an IT person. This is playing into a broader shift we're seeing in IT buying, and especially in software buying here at ESG, which is that the knowledge workers themselves are actually going out and buying their own software products. So we saw that very dramatically here. The second was the diversity of the products in this space. Some of the products are point solutions, for example, an analytics package that helps you to understand exactly who your customers are, all the way through to a full soup to nuts marketing platform that, that really takes the whole process from understanding your customers, reaching out to your customers, understanding the effectiveness of your message and your marketing campaigns, and, and again, just running right back to the beginning and understanding uh, how to reach out to them some more. So one of the most surprising findings in this report was just how diverse the, the, the applications are, the lack of uniformity in these applications. So as I mentioned before, it's not just how diverse they are in terms of point solutions versus uh, large platforms, but also the diversity of the products in terms of what the market is that they're trying to address. For example, small and medium business, some of them are trying to address mid-sized enterprises, some are trying to address large enterprises. The price range in these products went everywhere from 10 bucks a month for a subscription for certain social media product, uh, marketing products to hundreds of thousands of dollars for these big analytics and marketing platforms. So even, even how it was deployed, deployed on premises versus deployed in the cloud, all of these things were, all of these different aspects of, the, of these products were so different from each other that it almost defies comparison. But that's to be expected because each one of these types of products is trying to go after a different market and to address different needs within those markets. And it's, it's actually quite refreshing to see such a lack of uniformity because it means that all types of customers will have a solution that's ready for them.